Remember that the least common denominator is determined by the highest power of every factor that appears in the denominator. So to find the least common denominator of a set of rational functions, we have to look at the denominators of each. In the first case, we see that 5 is a factor in the denominator. That tells us that we know there's a 5 as a factor in our least common denominator. Next, we see that in the first fraction, we also have an x. So we know that there's going to be an x in our least common denominator. To determine the highest power of x, or actually the power of x that is in our least common denominator, we have to look for the highest power of x that appears in any denominator. In this case, x is to the first power. But in the second case, x is being raised to the third power. The highest power, deno the highest power dominates when you're finding your LCD, so we know that our LCD is equal to 5x cubed. There are no other factors that we haven't accounted for in this LCD, so 5x cubed is the LCD of these two fractions. Let's do another example. So the goal we're, we're trying to achieve when we look for the LCD is we want to account, account for every single factor that appears in a denominator. So once again, I'll start off with the first fraction. Because I have an x here, I know that x is going to be one of the factors in the LCD. Next, I need to determine what the power of x should be. In this case, it's 1. But over here I see that I also have an x, and it's being raised to the second power. The highest power dominates, so x squared is going to be one of the factors in my LCD. Now let's account for the x plus 1. It's there, so I know there's going to be 1 in my LCD as a factor. This x plus 1 is being raised to the first power, and there's no x plus 1 here, so I know that the x plus 1 in my LCD is going to be raised to the first power. Now we've accounted for the x, and we've accounted for the x plus 1, so we need to move on to the second fraction. We've already accounted for this x squared by putting this x squared in the LCD. Now we need to account for the x plus 2. Since x plus 2 is only being raised to the first power, we know that x plus 2 is going to be raised to the first power in our LCD, so the LCD of these two fractions is x squared times x plus 1 times x plus 2. Let's do one more. When we look for the LCD, we're looking for factors in the different denominators. In this first case, x squared plus 4x is not in factored form, so the first thing that we need to do is factor it. The greatest common factor of these two terms is x, so we want to pull that x out. And if we do, we're left with an x plus 4. The second denominator is already factored, so we'll just keep it the same. So now both denominators are fully factored, so we're ready to determine the LCD. So we account for this first x by putting it as x in the LCD, and we have to raise it to the first power because that's the power of this x. Next, we account for the x plus 4. The highest power of x plus 4 that appears in either denominator is a 1, so we know that x plus 4 has to be raised to the first power in our LCD. We've taken care of both factors of the denominator in the first fraction, so now we need to move on to the second one. This denominator is x plus 4, and it has already been accounted for. It appears already in the LCD, so we're done.
the LCD of these two fractions is x times x plus 4.